and welcome to another episode of Play Unplugged TV. I'm your host Enrico Nardini for PlayUnplugged.com and I have another Play Unplugged unboxing for us today. And if you are familiar with our show, you might have remembered an unboxing we did for Curtis Fell's Ramshackle Games and a mystery box of all different kinds of items they sent for us to check out. Well, I like that stuff so much, I jumped in on Curtis's Kickstarter for the Brothers of Iron, a uh, set of sci-fi figures plus some vehicles. And so the cool thing is that's come in and I wanted to kind of like, I, as I opened it up, I was like, oh, you know what? I don't want to go any farther. I want to open it up with you guys. So we're going to dig into this box and check a look at uh, all this cool stuff that was part of the Kickstarter. These are uh, sci-fi bodies from the Brothers of Iron. Very cool looking. They uh, kind of have a, they look like they're wearing a jumpsuit of sorts uh, with the iron shod boots and all kinds of techno gimmicks. Really nice looking. I'm going to be going through this stuff pretty quickly too. There's a lot to look at. Uh, but I, I'm really quite fond of these. There's definitely going to be some cleanup. Uh, as you can see, the castings are not perfect, uh, nor do I expect them to be with resin. But there's definitely stuff like this that needs to be removed. Uh, bases need to be trimmed, things like that. But overall, I'm really pleased with the, uh, with the appearance. I like these guys a lot. I'm going to put them off to the side. Let's take a look at their weapons. So here is a resin sprue with their with some of the weapon options. You can see most of them are going to be armed with these sci-fi style shotguns. Really cool looking. I say shotgun because they look like a shotgun to me, but I'm sure you can use them to represent almost anything. Now, if you join the Kickstarter, there were a lot of head options. And so I bought in some of the head options. You could actually have just ordered it for the heads. So here are the Neo Reich heads. And they kind of have a German style look, thus the name. And those are these are really excellent. They look really awesome. And uh, you could have just got these for like you know to use with say I'd, I'd imagine they'd probably be compatible with uh, like the Imperial Guard sprue from Warhammer Forty K. And these would look great. They would, they, they look really awesome. Uh, but the heads I was most excited about were these kind of lens style dome style sci fi heads. So I got this set too, and I really like these. I like the aesthetic on them this kind of, you know, painting these up to be like shiny and have like a, like an almost a, a glass dome effect would be really awesome. I quite like them. It's a lot of excess resin to make these. I don't know what that's about, but uh, they look cool. All right, like I said, we're gonna move at a pretty good chop here. So let's see what else is in here. Got, okay, these look like weapons for the vehicle, so I'm going to see if I can find my vehicle, it's this transport, here we go, I imagine this big block is part of it, so I've got this huge chunk of resin here, up, ah. boom, there's part of the transport, you can see the detailing, looks really cool, so this is part of it, this is a big chunk of resin, man vehicle is quite chunky because the, the, there are going to be tracks that are attached to this. Okay, and here's the front of the vehicle. And now the front's made so you can add different things to it. So there's a, you can put a turret up here. You can see where the, uh, here's like where the, 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 the crew compartment is. And the detailing on his vehicles are, are really nice. Very cool looking, big chunky sci-fi vehicle. So you can see these would kind of go together kind of like this, and then you would add the track. So let's see, speaking of which, let's see what lurks in here. All right, we've got, now the option I went for, I have lots of tracked sci-fi vehicles, so I wanted to switch it up. So I went for a wheeled option. So here, as you can see, once again, Nice, clean casting. This is really nice. There's not going to be a lot of cleanup on these particular pieces anyway. A little bit, you can see, but pretty nicely done. And this awesome dozer blade. Sweet. Or you could go with this, actually. This bumper's too cool, too. I wonder if you might be able to do both. You might be able to attach this to this. Um, really cool. All right, let's put that to the side. And here are the wheels that go with that track section. 
I'm going to pull out one. Now the way these wheels are detailed, I would definitely put like this part where there's some casting imperfections after I cleaned it up, I would put this part facing the ground. Uh, not perfect, but still nice. So here's our wheels, our sci-fi wheels. And there's, uh, this vehicle takes, looks like six wheels. And let's see, is there anything I missed? Okay, so here's a hatch that could go on top. Oh, and I want to look at all those weapons, too. There's weapon options. So here's a hatch. A little sci-fi hatch. After this cleans up, it should work fine. Especially if I put it on the right side. <laughs> nice. And now we've got all different kinds of accessories. So, I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to open up and go through all these because there's so many. But these are just, like, different vents and ports and gimmicks lights, all different kinds of stuff you can put on there. And we've also got the different hatches. And so, I, but I do think people are going to want to see the weapons. And so these are some of the vehicle weapons. Let's take a quick look. Let me get this bag open. So here's a turret that'll sit on top. Needs some cleaning. A little bit, you can see where the resin runs out of the mold. But that doesn't, that's not going to take too much to clean up. But um, here are some, okay, so we got Double flamer, some kind of double flame weapon. That's awesome. Some kind of cannon type thing here. Not as into that. This this flame gimmick is just really cool looking. All right, so we've also got, let's see, we've got um, this uh, World War One style looking machine gun, this kind of double barreled gun here. Um, a mini twin Gatling gun. There's actually, a lot of these bits could be used for a lot of things. You get a lot of gun bits here. This looks like almost like a GW style LAS cannon, laser cannon. Um, tons of flame options. A lot of flaming, a lot of flame weapons, a lot of flamethrowers. Awesome. This looks like some kind of, is this a radio relay? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this would be for. Neat though. Um, Gatling gun. Who doesn't love that? Always a, fa a favorite. Another laser gun looking weapon. And another Gatling gun. And a mini turret piece. Cool. All right. That's basically it. Thank you for watching this episode of Play on Plug TV. If you'd like to see more unboxings, plus the best in news, reviews, and hobby tips, make sure you check out playonplug.com. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Make sure you leave a comment below, too, because we love that stuff. And we'll see you next time.